Uh, hello, so from Top Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. A bit of a tongue twister at the beginning there. But in this uh, quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can populate your scene in Blender uh, with trees. Lots and lots of trees. And it would not lag your, your user interface all that much, which is phenomenal. And it's by using this uh, add-on that I found called the Alpha Tree, which is... Uh, paid add-on, but it's worth the money and what this add-on does is that it populates your scene with PNG trees now what PNG means is that It's a picture of a tree with a transparent background so you can see through All the sides of the tree that aren't part of the tree you can just see through it It won't and it won't actually stop you from actually seeing the rest of the scene at all and it saves a lot of uh, processing time and processing power on your system quite a bit. And I'll leave a link of it uh, in the description below this video. And it's the same process once you download it onto your system. You go to Edit, Preferences, go to Install, and just navigate to where you've installed it. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done it. And then once that process is done, let's type in Alpha here. You just put a check in the box and it's set and ready to go. And the uh, when you see it in the toolbar, it just looks pretty basic. But once you start, you know, populating your scenes and start using the add-on, it'll give you more options to use in terms of adding more scenes to uh, adding more trees to your scene. So let's uh, just prep up the scene. Let's get rid of our cube here by pressing delete, uh, shift A on a keyboard, plane. S to scale it up and drag out our mouse. And I always like to apply any transformations that I make to Blender. So I press Control A. I actually have a there's an add-on for that that makes it a little bit easier, but I'm just gonna go with the keyboard shortcut and, and I'm gonna choose apply scale, click on scale from the pop-up menu. And with your plane selected here, you have the option of using a particle or an object. Now, a particle is the best thing to use because it sets everything up for you with a particle system that you can use to populate the scene with the trees. So I'm going to leave it on particle and click on the plus sign. And you can see that it's got all these, these strands set up by a particle system here. With these strands, this is where the trees will be. And it's labeled it or given it a tag, which is biome. And you're like, well, what's the, where are the trees? Then all you have to do is click on new settings, click on that. And it gives you more options in terms of the seed. If you scroll in with your mouse, you'll see these little kind of uh, placeholders here on your mesh. These are still where the trees are going to be. Now the seed, you can, the seed causes you to have more variation in terms of how the trees will be laid out. So I'm just going to bump this up a little bit so we can have them scattered a little bit more. And the number of trees at this point is a thousand. So we're going to keep it at that. And the scale is the size of the trees. Now, right, right now it's at 0 0.05, but we can crank that up a little bit, make them a little bit taller. And the random scales, there's the random size. We don't want all of our trees to be the same size. So we're going to bump this up just a bit to give them a different, each tree a different size. And our viewport display is going to be at 100%. Now, if you are if you have a, I know at the beginning of this video I said that it will populate your trees without you having to uh, sacrifice on processing power. But if your graphics card isn't as strong as you would like it to be, you can turn down the number of trees in the viewport by sliding this left or right. Right now it's at 100, so you can reduce this to 50, give you less trees, but I'm gonna keep mine at 100 because my graphics card is pretty strong. And we can give us some random rotation with this parameter here. Let's drag this up a little bit. And keep that as is. Now if we scroll down, you'll say, well, Okay, if you've done all that stuff, where are the trees? So you have to click on this arrow, this plus sign again, click on that. And you're like, okay, still don't see any trees. Let's scroll down some more. And then you'll finally come to the option of what trees you want to apply to your scene. Left click on that and you have all these options here. Now, depending on what version you downloaded, you'll have more trees than this probably. I haven't really downloaded all the trees yet, but this is what I want to start with. So I'm going to just click on this beach two tree, left click on that and give it a little bit of time. And there, there are our trees in the scene. 
And in order to see them a little bit better, let's change. Let's leave it in EV because it, they look good. And they can be used both in EV and in cycles, but they look pretty much the same in terms of rendering. But EV is faster, so I'm gonna leave it on EV. I'm gonna change my world settings. Click on this icon there. Turn it from gray to like a bluish color. So when our color wheel pops up, I'm gonna move our dot. To left click and drag our dot up a little bit to brighten up the scene. And I'm gonna click in this blue area here to give it a more of a sky blue kind of atmosphere. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this icon to so we can see what our trees look like. And there they are. Now it doesn't look that good because it's not that populated and the ground is still pretty white. Plus the trees are kind of small. So we're gonna make our trees a little bit bigger. By going up to the scale, I'm gonna drag this up and boom. That's how our, our trees look. Now, if we look through it at, at our trees through our camera by pressing zero, this looks horrible because you can tell that they're just images of trees because they're all facing this way and they look flat. But the developer fixed that. And the way you can fix that is click on this eyedropper when you see, where you see this, this camera icon underneath the settings, click on your this eyedropper and we're going to click on camera left click on that and all the trees face us so if we turn off the display here you can see that they all are looking in our direction which is great but it still can look better than this because all the trees pretty much look the same and basically in, in a forest there are different kinds of trees different kinds of vegetation so we want to fix this Anyway, the way you can fix this is just add more trees. That's all you have to do. So scroll back up again. <clears throat> click on this plus sign. And the same process again. Uh, this is biome number one. This is zero. This is one. Click on new items. Uh, crank up the seed. Most of variation. You can crank up the number of trees here. Left click and drag. Uh, increase our scale. Left click and drag on that also. Randomness, all the, the other options that look good. Click on this plus sign, scroll down, click on that plus sign, or in the tree icon, and let's pick a different tree. And then look at that. Look at look at how realistic it looks now. So and at this point we have at least about two thousand trees in our scene, and this looks very, very realistic. It looks like an actual forest made of 3d objects but these are just 2g 2d plain flat images and i'm scrolling in and out with the mouse wheel and there's really no lag at all even if i get out of that view itself and i'm pivoting around with my mouse you can't even tell that this is just these are just png trees they're just flat images of trees that look like they're 3d and that's the beauty of this add-on <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me this the weather but that's the beauty of this add-on it just gives you the ability to really populate your scene with vegetation basically trees using 2d flat images that make it look like it's a 3d based scene and that's it yeah so this is one great great add-on that i rec highly highly recommend and once again, I hope this uh, tutorial has helped those of you who have been watching. And I thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, adios.